Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an after the holidays cleaning inspiration plus a super simple DIY. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. I hope you guys enjoy this video and hopefully it will bring you some inspiration so you can get things done in your home after the holidays. So here I'm loading the dishwasher with some after breakfast dishes and I'm going to hand wash any items that I don't traditionally put into the dishwasher. So really quickly, I'm going to wash out the sink. Uh, I like to do this after I clear all the dishes out of the sink. I'll only end up washing it again once I completely finish the kitchen. Do you guys do that too? I end up washing the sink seems like two or three times during the process. I like to do my everyday cleaning with Mrs. Myers. Uh, these are the winter scents that I'm currently using, the snowdrop and the pine. I love the way it makes my kitchen smell. And so here I'm just gonna wash down the countertops. And here I'm also using Mrs. Myers on my appliances. And here I'm just circling back to clean the appliances with my stainless steel cleaner. I really like the way it makes my kitchen appliances pop. And so here I'm wiping down the stove. As you can see, it needs it. And I'm gonna use that multi-surface cleaner on the stove top too.
And once I finish cleaning, I'll add back the knobs, I'll add back the grates, and I'll add back the griddle. I also take this time to wipe off the cutting boards uh, that sit behind the stove as well as the backsplash because sometimes things pop on there as well. So I like to keep that under control so it doesn't get too out of hand. So here I'm cleaning off the island and I'm wiping off my marble tray. So since the holidays are over, I'm gonna do just a simple winter vignette and I'm also gonna add some yeast rolls that I baked off to my cake plate. And as always, I'm gonna light a winter candle just for some added scent and ambiance. But again, keeping the island simple and yummy. Before I head into the family room and straighten up in there, I'm gonna throw in a load of laundry and I'm gonna take a load of laundry out. Now let's get started on that super simple DIY. I got this desk pad from where? Target, you may recognize this. Um, with the gold foil uh, mumps. This is a sugar paper desk pad calendar. But I'm gonna use it and mount it on the wall in my kitchen. But I'm gonna zhuzh it up a little bit by putting it in a frame. I thought I wanted to do something a little different this year uh, by adding a frame. So I went over to HomeSense and I picked up this frame. How much was this calendar? I didn't even say. I don't even know how much the calendar was. I'm not sure. I will, I, I, I'm not sure how much it cost. Um, I'll look it up and, and I'll link it down below in case anybody's interested. But I did go over to HomeSense and I found this frame. I just wanted it all white and I basically was, I was going to start with a frame that I had saw on Amazon. Then I saw another frame for less at Target. But then when I was at HomeSense, I saw this, which was the dimensions that I needed. Well, a little larger than the dimensions that I needed, but still workable. And uh, for the price, I figured, why not? The price was $16.99 and everyone else wanted $32 or up. So, and this dry erase board comes with an actual dry erase marker, which is cool because I do need one for my grocery list that I keep in the kitchen. You may have seen that, that, that's on my refrigerator. So let's open this up and I'm just gonna use command strips to attach the calendar pad to the whiteboard frame and hang it. Next year, when I'm ready to replace this calendar, I can just pull this off and add a new one. I'm gonna use my laser leveler and some painter's tape and add some nails to the wall to hang my 2022 calendar. So here I'm just going to wipe off some surface crumbs off the kitchen table.
and then I'm gonna head into the family room and tidy up in there. And when I'm finished tidying up, I'm gonna vacuum the entire house. have a couple vacuum cleaners but the one that I'm using today is my lightweight shark duo I have a second shark uh, it's a heavy-duty cleaner and it picks up everything so when it's really dusty or soiled I'll use the big one but for every day I usually use the shark duo I also have a steamer mop, but today I'm going to use my Swiffer mop with a microfiber cleaning pad. I refill my Swifter with a water and vinegar solution. My husband came through as I was mopping. I appreciate him taking his shoes off first. And that's little Major running up and down the steps.
for tuning in. I hope you all enjoyed my 2022 clean and easy DIY with me. If you did, don't forget to leave a comment. And I'll see you right back here next time. Bye.